yo what is up podcast so here we are back with another smoking section i'm on the way home i'm driving through la just got done spending the weekend out in san diego california for the three percent launch hosted by nate o'brien um if you guys don't know who nate o'brien is he is a he is the shopify king he is a facebook ads master business coach life coach um and just overall amazing person um got to got the chance to be able to be near him stay at his house you know learn and just be inspired by him you know he was a crumper um turned millionaire so it was really really inspiring seeing him um today's episode though you know i want to give a shout out to my dude g molly you can follow him on instagram you know and check check out all his music on all streaming platforms too g molly that's g m a l y um dude's a fucking dude's amazing and his music is so true like like his truth is really on those tracks but me and him had the chance to you know chop it up kind of you know talk life and talk business and and philosophies and one thing that me well uh, there was a couple things that me and him agreed on but there let me talk about two things though that uh that we talked about because I'm very passionate about it and and it's something that you have to execute on you know if you want to get anywhere in this world as an artist you know vlogger blogger podcaster entrepreneur you know whatever is is first you have to dominate your mindset you have to stay in the right mindset like even when you're taking those L's like that L should be teaching you something and something that you can implement into your strategy like like have a strategy of of how you're going to run your business like it doesn't have to be just to start it doesn't have to be so crazy you know what i mean but as you progress your strategy should become more intricate it should have more layers because the deeper you go down the rabbit hole the deeper you're going to have to dig so your skill set has to get deeper. So your mindset one and then two the skill set to execute on your passion. You know, like we all know anything that we are passionate about, we can turn to a profit. Anything. In, in the internet today, there is no limit onto what we can sell. You like Star Wars? Start a vlog. You like you like gardening tools and, and the sale of gardening tools. You can do that. You want to start your own clothing brand. You can do it. All made by the internet. Most places, you know, with a small fee, they'll warehouse all your shit. So, people need to understand that executing on your passion, you know, you just have to have the skill set. There's just a, there's just basic skills you got to have. You know, you got to know how to operate certain things. Nobody who has an Instagram, you know, everybody sucked at Instagram at one point. Didn't know how to post a picture, didn't understand hashtags, didn't understand nothing. You know, all of us sucked at something at one point. You know what I'm saying? Like Like I look at life you know, and I know one saying is, is uh, everybody puts their pants on one leg at a time, you know, no matter what, or we all bleed, you know what I'm saying? Well, me, one thing I like to say is like, you know, when we were born, everybody was born butt naked screaming. Everybody, everybody was born butt naked screaming. So we all sucked at one point. You got to build your skill set, execute on your passion and have a strong enough mindset to withstand the blows that come along with the failures of business. Everything you do is not going to be a success. One uh, one saying I heard over the weekend was, you know, in California, nine out of every 10 businesses fail. So let me go start 10. And that fucking clicked so hard. That clicked so hard because one... It's not only telling me that that person is not only willing to work, to put in the work of 10 stores, 10 businesses, but it also tells me that they are also willing to accept the failures that come along with it. 
that also comes along with chasing the lifestyle of an entrepreneur or business owner, you know? You want the bling bling and, and the fancy cars and all the cool shit. I mean, we got to be ready to put in some major fucking work. We got to be ready to take some super L's because L's just set you up for big old dubs. So I'm just saying, like, so the mindset and the ability to act on your passion has, they got to be A1. You know what I mean? You can't be slacking on the Mackin with either. I mean... If you do slack on one, you know, it's not necessarily going to cripple you per se, as long as you keep acting, because, you know, any action is better than inaction type type of shit, y'all feel what I'm saying? So, it was 2017, and I was just barely getting started in e virgin, fresh virgin into e-com, you know what I'm saying, fresh virgin, I didn't even know that me seeing the same video 30 times for a jacket on Facebook, I didn't even know that that was an ad, I didn't even understand that concept, I didn't understand it, still, you know, have my trouble with it, understanding the concept of it, but it was a part of the skill set that I needed to begin to try to master and understand so that I can act on my passion. My mindset told me, okay, Corpse, you understand how to sell. You understand how to get the sell created once in front of the customer. Now you are learning how to get in front of said customer. You know, I learned certain technologies. I learned, I learned certain search engines and certain features of certain apps that helped me, you know, helped me optimize my business. So the skill set was being built and the mindset being fortified. So I just want everybody who's out there, anybody, whether you're a streamer on Twitch you know, e-commerce drop shipper, building your own brand, or whatever it may be. I hope you guys really, really, really buckle down and start moving forward. It's okay. It's not too late. I don't want nobody out there to be like, well, it's too late for me. Everybody's exposed. It. Ah, no, no, it's not. It's never too late. Get in, start acting, start working, and then everything else will fall right into place. And that's all that matters. So, turn your passion into a profit. And I swear to God, you won't regret it. I hope everybody enjoyed this episode of the podcast. This is Passion Into Profit Smoking Section. Shout out my dude, G Molly. Um, Follow me on Instagram, man. Follow me on Instagram. I'm going to slide that in there. At Corpse, K-O-R-P-S-X. And I'll follow y'all back. I love you guys. I hope everyone has an amazing day, night, week, month, year, life. Stay motivated. Bang.